My name is Gunnar and today I thought I would show a bit about how I create pinch pot plant pots uh, for plant pro for oh my gosh this is too many peas for plant propagations. I've been getting into plants more the older I get and when I'm making little propagations off of plant cuttings I usually just make make little pinch pots myself and someone asked me to make a video about this. I thought I would show the process a bit. So I have a about half a pound of clay here I think maybe maybe almost a pound um, and I'm just gonna twist it off into two separate pieces and ball this up. This is like one of the easiest methods you can do with pottery um, especially when they're just little small pinch pots we're creating essentially right here uh, maybe just a bit bigger and then I like to keep drainage really well in my plant prop in my plant pots so I will put a hole at the bottom myself but you obviously can choose if you want to do that or not when everything's into a nice sphere just pick a certain area and I just push my thumb about three quarters of the way down and then all you're gonna really do is do this pinching motion and usually you have your thumb kind of going in that type of direction all the way around in a circle and you're just gonna continue to do that till you're getting the shape you want if you're trying to pull the clay it's gonna get stuck and obviously like a slant so that's why we're pulling our thumb up and trying to create the walls to get a bit taller as well as thinner because you don't want your clay to be too thick. You obviously can also tap. That helps create like a flat bottom and then kind of go from there. I don't know if you could do this with air dry clay. I feel like it probably could work. I just don't know what like the water retention and drainage is like in that type of clay. I'm using low fire clay, so I have a low fire kiln and it works perfect for what I need. Then I kind of get it to the shape I want and all I have to do now is just worry about smoothing and the texture of the outside. At this point usually I just kind of spray my fingertips with a little bit of water and then I will just lightly go over all the areas that have slight cracks. You don't want to put too much water into your clay, otherwise it expands it, and then when the clay starts to dry, it might start re-cracking as well. Is that a word? Re-cracking? I don't know. Obviously, you can make this as neat or handmade as you want it to look. Uh, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to just stop right here. Uh, what you can do next is sometimes you can um, take like the top off of like a bottle or something if that's the size of the hole that you want for the drainage and you can kind of like push it in. Um, I tend to just use like a pin needle tool. I'll draw the hole. It's also easier to cut out the drainage hole when the clay is a bit more dry. Uh, when it's this wet, it usually is so sticky that it doesn't want to kind of like easily be cut. Uh, again, for the sake of the video though, I'm just going to do it just so you can see what it's going to look like. And so, easy enough. That's probably even like too big of a hole. I've had probably like four four different propagations working right now and two of them have a drainage hole that's probably the same size and they're actually doing really well I just think then you have to water so often like every two to three days I'm watering so you just gotta kinda keep keep on top of things 
And then I just set it out to dry for usually five days, slightly covered. And then I can throw it through the kiln. And when it comes out, I'll kind of show like a picture of what they look like. And they've worked really well for me. I think ceramic pots tend to help drain the water a bit faster than any other type of form, just because it can sometimes be a little bit porous still if there's not a glaze over it. Um, but I found that to really help my plant pots and help with root rot as well. So I'm going to continue with doing propagations, I think, in the ceramic planters as long as it's working for me. And hopefully some of you can try this method out and let me know what you think about it. Thank you for watching the video today and I hope you have a great rest of your day.